taking question and answer on growing up as boys and girls. Are the statements given below true or false? Support your answer with the use of an example. First is all societies do not think similarly about the roles that boys and girls play. And this statement is true. We have taken examples of Samoa society and the society in uh, Madhya Pradesh in 1960s. So in most societies, the work boys do is given more importance than the work girls do. But there are certain societies, if we talk about other countries, work the girl do or the girls are, uh, we can say, treated equally and some in some places, they are given more importance. Our society does not make distinctions between boys and girls when they are growing up. So this is a false statement because our society makes distinctions between boys and girls even while they are, you know, in the growing phase, earlier stages. Because from a very early age or stage, boys are taught to be tough and serious. While girls are taught to be mild and very soft, you know, nazakat types. So boys are given toys like cars, guns, but girls are given dolls. And which is, uh, you know, this is how we are making them learn to do what? They are intended in the society later after. Women who stay at home do not work. Now, this is a big false. Women who stay at home do a lot of household activities, chores. They cook food, wash clothes, sweep floor. There are numerous things that they do, and some of which are really, you know, strenuous. And requires a lot of physical work. The work that women do is less valued than that of men. And this is very true. Women do a lot of work. Actually, they are doing dual work, double burden. The main responsibility for housework or caregiving, a task lies with women. Yet, the work they do with uh, the home is not in the home is not recognized at all as a word. This is assumed that uh, that comes, these things comes naturally to a woman or a girl. So, th because they are not paid for it. And this is the main reason why our society devalues women's work and which is far more, you know, challenging, act, uh, involve physical labor. Housework is invisible and unpaid work. Physically demanding, time consuming. So you have to write in your own words what is meant by the term invisible, physical demanding and time consuming. Given one example of each based on the household task undertaken by women in your home. First of all, we'll start with the invisible thing. So this means that those things which are not visible to our eyes, naked eyes. For instance, the main responsibility of housework and caregiving tasks, looking after the family, especially young kids, children, the elderly people, sick members, this lies with women. So there are such work or tasks which are not very often recognized as, as proper work. That is why they remain invisible. So you are, the women are not making, uh, say, a wall. After some time, you, we can uh, analyze or find out that how much wall is uh, created. So this is not that thing. But it is more than making a wall. You know, taking care of, uh, it has to be, you know, women has to be very vigilant and on their toes. So they are doing those things which are invisible, but they require a lot of effort. Physically demanding. Very tough and difficult tasks are physically demanding. For example, women do a lot of work inside the home, like carrying heavy loads, firewood, fetching water, from far off place, washing clothes of the entire member of the family, it's really very tough and difficult. And still, have you ever seen or have you ever heard your mother or your sister complaining about that? They never, they never complain, but they do a lot of physical demanding work. Time consuming. 
so household work that take much time because uh, for let us take an example women routine begins early in the morning they have to get up early before anyone in the house in order to first clean you know do the dishes and finally start cooking and they, it continues after everyone sleeps you know before people are sleeping they have to give them milk and do everything for the ne- preparation for the next day so during this period they are seen busy in fulfilling the needs and wishes of the family members and it's not just one or two family members there can be many family members so they often sit with their children and help them in completing their homework this is also their task so this is how the work is actually time consuming from early in the morning say 5 or 6 to late at night 11 12 o'clock they are just working make a list of toys and games that boys typically play and um, another for girls also if there is a difference between two lists can you think of some reasons why this is so and does this have any relationship to the roles children have to play as adults the certain toys boys play with or they are given specially car guns swords buses railway trains lions um, cricket kabaddi hockey football these are all games that play these are the toys these are the games they play and what are the toys girls use dolls cooking items they play badminton table tennis hide and seek all the indoor games so these games are also played by the boys in this description we can find out and conclude that there is a difference between the toys with which both gender plays the reason or the idea behind this is our society mentality it makes a clear distinction between boys and girls boys are taught to be tough while girls are taught to be mild softer boys are expected to do uh, they are taught to do work which highlight their manly features but girls are often bounded to remain in the limit with all feminine virtues this is the you know contradiction and uh, you can say unfortunate thing in our society all these are the ways of telling children that they have specific roles to play when they grow up to be men and women so later in life this affects even the subjects they can study or the careers they want to choose so the initial uh, you can say learning or initial feeding and you know after that after some time the girls and boys they start actually behaving like this with the way they are being taught they are they are uh, because things are being fed now behave they they behave exactly like this women they become softer they become feminine even they have the characteristics of becoming all those are going to any occupation working hard they can do they can do anything you know you have seen that you know if you, if you just go out of our subcontinent in any of the western countries you will see that if you have someone working as a domestic help in your house or locality talk to her and find out little more more about her life who are her family members and where is her home how many hours does she work how much does she get paid and write a small story based on these details so you can say you know i just i'm taking some uh, names you can just change the names like sharda shakuntala any sita have been working in my house for several years as a domestic help she hails from some village say in west bengal bihar or any place you can say she lives in delhi or the place you live with her husband and one daughter who is in her teens she comes to my house early in the morning 9:00 say 5:30 and get to tires from the work at night 8 pm so in between she goes to her house for 2 hours she does every work very efficiently skillfully she is a disciplined woman she never gives a moment to complain and due to this fact we have developed a very cordial relation with her and her family uh, we regard her as our own family we also pay her handsome amount she gets 3000 per month see when the people are earning more than 1 lakh or 1 1.5 lakhs a month this women is only given 3000 for whole day and uh, other facilities also you can say that we give her food clothes medicine her husband is a rickshaw puller who also manages to earn some good, good amount and this is how sharda lives a very happy life with us and her family members so this is the ideal condition actually you know this we explained as ideal condition these are the not not the ideal condition 
because they they live in such such filthy condition they are always some problem like health issues and rickshaw puller doesn't get the you can say savariya every day every time and this 3000 is just uh, you can say a salt in a in a vegetable curry so it's very less so these are uh, some important questions what was a very important activity on the samoan islands in 1920s so fishing because it's an island fishing is a very important activity in the samoan islands how was the girls school in madhya pradesh in 1960 designed differently from the boys school so this is like this so this is the school building okay and in this we have a place inside this so girls school had a central courtyard like this where girls played in total seclusion and safety from the outside world they cannot go outside but boys doesn't have this boys school they they this is this may be the school they might play here somewhere you know with no safety or no seclusion as these girls walked down the, on the streets they looked so you can say purposeful what does the word purposeful refer to their only intention while they are say there this is their house one of these house they just take straight road from school to house no going here neither going there neither are even looking here and there well because they want to get back to their house as early as safe as possible you know how the elements are there in our society so they have to safeguard themselves why do we give boys and girls different toys to play with in the beginning we means i i am including myself because we are the society so we are we just want them to have different futures as men and women their occupation how they are going to live their life dwell their life as a man and women why do we teach boys and girls in their early childhood we teach uh, the boys to be tough and muscular on the contrary and which is very unfortunate we teach girls as they need to be soft and mild when ev well everyone needs to be soft and mild why only girls men men should also be soft and mild mild why did harmeet develop a notion that her mother did not work in our society present society the work that women do in home we call them as homemaker is not recognized as work and this is assume why because uh, they are not getting any money they are not being paid for and we just uh, naturally think that women are there to work for all the household activity and that com naturally comes to them so that is why harmeet also because of the the things which are going around him he has a notion that her mother did not work and these activities what she does in house is everyone what everyone does and nobody gets paid for it so nobody kid gets paid for it that is they are not they are not doing any work why are the wages of domestic workers usually low because again the same thing is domestic worker the domestic work is not valued so much that is why they are paid low what is the daily schedule of a domestic worker the domestic worker always uh, starts early in the morning and ends late at night how are domestic workers treated by their employers i am not saying all the employers but most of them domestic workers are often not treated well by most of their employers despite the hard work they put in their employers often do not show them much of respect and honor and asmita identity they need to have what do you mean by the term double burden single burden and double burden means two burdens at, at the same time so if this is you this is the home this is the workplace several women today were both inside and outside the home and this is this one this two this is why this is called as double burden housework commonly involves many different tasks name some of them washing clothes cleaning sweeping cooking there are so many 
Why do girls like to go to school together in groups? Just because the society, the people are so unpredictable, that is, there are bad elements in our society and there are so many bad elements. That is why the girl have to be in group so that they feel secure, safe. And this is really, you know, 21st century, this is so unfortunate that half of the population of our our, our country is feeling unsafe. What did boys do every evening once the school was over? Now, boys can do anything. Every, every evening once the school was over, boys watched hundreds of school girls crowded the narrow street. The girls walked on the street in a group and their only intention was to get straight home. Boys, they used to use the street as a place to stand for hours around idling, doing no work, to play, try out the tricks with their bicycles or maybe bikes or maybe cars. And, you know, they they don't have any time to reach house. They can reach any time. They are not scared. They are not, they are just considered to be safe. This is really a dilemma in our society. Why does our society devalue the work women do inside the home? So women, they take up, they discharge a lot of responsibilities inside their home. They look after the family, you know, especially the young kids, elderly and sick members. They manage the activities so efficiently, you will not find any lag, any, anything which you can point out. Mama, aaj apne ye nahi kiya. Mama, you didn't do that. She, your mama, your sister, they do everything, you know, so efficiently. They cook food, standing for hours in front of hot stoves, wash clothes, maintain cleanliness. In rural areas, the situation is even worse. The women and girls, they carry heavy lo head loads of firewood. These works are not considered a real work in the family, in our family and societies. The work that women do within the home is not recognized as work. It is assumed that this is what they naturally do. And due to this fact, it does not have to be paid for. So our society devalues such work and there is no payment at all. And we just think they don't do, they don't do, don't do anything. Our constitution does not discriminate between male and female, but inequality between the sexes, genders exist. What does the government do to remedy, to remedy this situation? The government recognizes that burden of child care and housework fall only on girls and women. And this naturally has an impact on whether girls can attend school. So it determines whether women can work outside the house and what kind of jobs and careers they can have. So the government has set up Anganwadis or child care. We call them in our places precious in several villages in the country. So it has passed, government has passed laws that, that makes it mandatory for organization that have more than 30 women employed to provide crash facilities. The provision of crash helps many uh, these women to take up employment outside the home to earn money, to earn bread for their family. The so girls have also been benefited through this provision. More and more girls have now start, started attending schools. Give an account of growing up in Samoa in 1920s. So there was a research in Samoa's Samoan society in 1920s and according to this research, Samoan children did not go to school. They engaged themselves in many different activities. They learned from their elders how to take care of young kids or do household work. Fishing was an important activity on the Samoan islands. Young people learned to undertake long fishing expeditions. Both boys and girls used to look after their young siblings. But by the time the boys are about 9 year old, he, the boy joined older boys in order to learn outdoor jobs like the fishing and planting coconuts. Girls have to continue looking after small kids or do errands or work for adults till they were teenagers. They enjoyed much freedom during teenage. After the age of 14 or so, girls also went on fishing trips. Working in the plantation learned to weave baskets. Boys had to do most of the work associated with uh, cooking. After they prepared the meals, girls would help them. 
write a brief note on the lives of domestic workers with an example so the lives of domestic workers or maids are full of hardship they do a lot of work in the employer's house they clean they sweep they wash clothes they do the dishes cook different varieties of food look after young child or the elderly sick people the day usually begins at 5 in early morning and ends up at 12 in the night and do, during this span of period they do not sit even for a while most domestic workers are women sometimes even young boys and girls they are employed to do all the work and despite the hard work they do their employers often uh, do not show them much respect they are often scolded by the, their uh, their you know you can say the employer even if they do some minor mistake so if the their wages are concerned they are very very low the reason behind the domestic work is not valued so much here we took an example of melanie she is a domestic work who leads a very hard life in spite of her hard labor her employer is not at all sympathetic she shouts she does not give her sufficient food even during severe winter she is not allowed to wear chappals in the house Melanie feels very humiliated but as she has no other option she has to bear all the hardship but she like her employer also wishes to be respected honored and paid well 